Spring is in the air and it is such a beautiful day. It's been a beautiful couple of weeks in Vermont. We are in the middle of April, 2023. So much has changed. So much growth has happened and I can't wait to share it with you. Come on along, let's go for a walk in the woods. will be the ostrich fern fiddleheads, but you can definitely see these ferns are growing up and there's going to be quite a few fronds. One, two, three, four, five, I mean, ten. And they have that brown papery crust on them. I'm going to wait until they get a little bit taller, but I bet by looking at these, I don't know if you can see that groove in the center of that stem. That looks like a U-shaped groove, which would mean ostrich fern. So I will be coming back to these in a few days just to see how they progress. Looks pretty good. Good sign. I'm feeling pretty excited because I did just look around myself when I found that first fern and now I'm finding there are quite a well not that many maybe there's like five or six patches but they're pretty established um, patches of these ostrich ferns and I really think they are um, but I will wait like I said just to watch these these fiddleheads come up and and definitely identify properly but it's a good reminder to t take in what's around you because I frequently too often just rush through life, through a day, through a workout, and I need to just take more time to look around. Jojo and I are out here in the woods and um, we are here by that spot where we found some ostrich fern fronds. It's April 11th today. I don't think much has changed uh, down there since we came here a few days ago. I'm gonna keep checking. The temperatures have been pretty high. They've been, I'd say between 50, maybe at night they get into the 40s, but then up to 50 to 60s during the day. So really, really pleasant for April 11th in Vermont but I don't think I've seen a change. So like I said, I'm sure it will change. <laughs> Just waiting patiently to see when it does. Cooper and I came back to the, the ostrich ferns that we are watching carefully because they have been changing over the past couple of weeks. He's kind of stepping in some, so I'm gonna pull him back. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I showed you some right there behind his feet. Uh, those ostrich fern fiddleheads are definitely getting bigger. They're not getting taller, but they're definitely getting bigger, the, the fiddlehead part of it. So it's very exciting. I will show you a little bit closer, but we're pretty happy. And make sure it's a fiddlehead. Uh, in, in future this is so exciting. So exciting. Be sure to stay tuned for some new videos coming up in the next couple of weeks. We're going to have videos helping you identify ostrich fern fiddleheads, showing you exactly the ways, the techniques you need to use to identify them properly so you're finding the correct fiddlehead ferns. 
and lots of other medicinal plants that I am discovering now in early spring. I just spotted some stinging nettle and I'm gonna tell you guys all about it. So make sure you stay tuned and follow along by subscribing if you'd like and like this video, it sure helps me. Thanks so much guys, see you soon. Thank you.